sorry fans of my Disney stuff. Something a little bit different for one video only. Today, tonight, in less than four hours time, actually in less than a couple of hours if you're counting the pre-show, it's Wrestlemania and I've always, always wanted to do some kind of like prediction video for any kind of WWE pay-per-view and I've never done it. Now I'm lucky, Wrestlemania is in the middle of half term being a teacher in England so I'm not at school tomorrow so I have all the time in the world now to watch it overnight and actually watch it live, sit up, stay up and I'm going to do a prediction video because I might do some reaction videos as well, maybe. Depends if I can stay awake and can perform well enough to actually use a camera during the middle of the night and try and be quiet while everyone else is sleeping in the house around me. So, here it goes. My WrestleMania predictions. Okay, if I keep looking behind the camera, it's because I've got them on the screen behind me, all of the matches, you can probably see the reflection in my glass, it's probably squares there. So, if we start on the kickoff show, first match I have put here is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Now, there's loads of participants mentioned so far. I think it's going to be one of two. I think it's either going to be Matt Hardy, I think he can really do something with that, he'd probably come up with some kind of weird name, broken, well, woken name for it. Um, it's, it's, it's me, it's for me, it's either him or maybe like Dolph Ziggler. I'm thinking maybe he had something and maybe, I don't want to say something, his contract, his new, like, boosted up contract, I keep doing this, sorry, that he um, got recently, so I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Hart, I want to say Matt Hardy, I think Matt Hardy's going to win, I re I I'd like him to win, I think he could do more with it than others could. Um, second match I have is the women's battle royal. Now for me, again, I think it's probably up to I think Becky Lynch. Also, possibly Lana. I think I'd like to see Lana win it. Cause I think if it was down to maybe her and then um, Bailey and Sasha Banks as the last three and they take each other out so Lana's left in, I think that'd be a great way to get some surprise with her, the crowd would pop, everyone would be saying Rusev Day, Rusev could come out and celebrate with her, I think it'd be amazing, but I think they're going to go with Becky Lynch, I think they need to throw Becky Lynch a bone, she needs something. She's sort of there, everyone likes her, they know they'd get like a, a crowd pop if she won, so I think they'll go Becky Lynch, they're going Becky Lynch for the, um, i will say moral battle, for the inaugural women's Wrestlemania women's battle royal, because it's not the other name anymore. Um, also on the pre-show, last match of the pre-show I think I've got here, is the Cruiserweight title tournament final with Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali. Now everybody is saying Cedric Alexander. All the betting things say Cedric Alexander, everything online says Cedric Alexander, makes sense. He was meant to take it off Enzo before the whole Enzo problem. I'm going to go with Mustafa Ali. I think with the, um, the greatest Royal Rumble going to sort of vaguely in the part of the world where he's from, I think having some kind of sort of person from that area of the world with a championship going into that might draw people in. So, I feel very loose and that, I, I don't know if that's really bad of me to say but I, I feel like Mustafa Ali could win. I feel like people will cheer Cedric Alexander more chasing the title than actually being champion so I'm going to go with Mustafa Ali which is against what everyone else is saying so fingers crossed I get that one right. Oh. We are then into the main show, so I'll do them in order I've got them on the screen in front of me. So first one I have here is Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Now, I'm actually going with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and I think there's going to be a hill turn. I'd love, I'd absolutely love if Daniel Bryan turned hill. If Daniel Bryan was the one to take out Shane and to then let the other two in. It would just be, like, Daniel Bryan did some great work as a hill. Yes, he did the whole much more his face when he was at Wrestlemania but after all that time being out with injury I think he'd want to come back and do something different and everything most of the stuff he did was babyface I think I think he'd love to be heel I think he'd work it in somehow so I'd love to see a heel Daniel Bryan because it would completely shock everyone everyone thinks Shane's going to turn I think it's going to be Daniel although he'll get cheered because everyone likes the other two and not really Shane but I think they'll try and do that weird Oh, I'm a good, I'm a bad guy, but everybody loves me, kind of thing, like Sami Zayn. So I'm going for Daniel Bryan to turn heel, and the other two to pick up the win, Owens and Zayn. Uh, next on this, I have Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle versus Triple H and Stephanie Mann. Another one
Yes, that makes sense. I want to go for the Triple H and Stephanie win. Because it's Triple H and Stephanie. It's WrestleMania. Are they really going to take the loss? Ronda's just happy to be there. So, I don't think she needs the win. But she needs to look strong. So I wonder if somehow she takes out Kurt. Although there was a big turn last night at NXT TakeOver if you haven't watched that. Uh, you know, I'm going to go Ronda and Kurt. Ronda and Kurt. Let's go Ronda and Kurt. I think this one might be wipe off Stephanie and Triple H for a bit. Hopefully Shane will be wiped off a bit after his match. So they'll be gone and they get some new GMs in to run the show. Hopefully Daniel Bryan will give that up. So I'm going to go with Owens and Zayn and Ronda and Kurt. Uh, next one I have here is the triple threat for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. New Day, Bludgeon Brothers, and the Usos. Um, oh, my boys are the New Day, but I don't think they're coming out with the win for this one. I'd love, I would kind of wouldn't mind if the Usos won. Because they deserve their WrestleMania match. I think they deserve to win. I'm going to go Usos. And in the other tag team match, um, Braun Strowman and his mystery partner against Cesaro and Sheamus. One, oh, who do I think the partner is going to be? A couple weeks ago, I'd have said Elias. Now they've completely thrown out because he's been in the whole Battle Royal. I think Cesaro and Shame is going to win. Whatever. I think they're going to carry on the tag team titles. Who do I think Braun's partner will be? I just don't know. Everyone's saying Bray Wyatt coming back with a different persona. Maybe he kind of goes weak towards the end of the match because he's not feeling himself. And then that's how Cesaro and Sheamus win. So maybe I'll go with that. With Bray Wyatt being the partner and Cesaro and Sheamus pick up the win. Uh, then we get on to the women's matches. Women's title matches. Oscar Charlotte Flair. Oscar's got to win this, right? She's got to stay undefeated. I feel like if any match was nailed on, there's that and the Universal title. So I'm going to go with Asuka to beat Charlotte Flair. Um, the women's title match, Nia Jax, Alexa Bliss. If Nia Jax doesn't win, this is a horror story that they have played out. Because Alexa Bliss has basically been a bully about her size and everything. So if Nia doesn't win, they're basically saying the bullies win. And it's not just a, oh, it's not just someone playing bad guy. They've said some quite horrible nasty things or they've made Alexa say that in like the scripts so I'm gonna go Nia to win ah but does Carmella cash it I don't think Carmella's gonna cash in or ask for a Charlotte Flair I think if she cashes in it'll be on this one I'm gonna go with Carmella trying to cash in in the Oscar Charlotte Flair she gets wiped out again beaten up again but then she comes out after this match and completely shocks everyone and cashes in on this one instead so I'm going to have her to try and catch on the other one first, and then on this one. I think this one's probably going to get the horrible put before or after like the best match of the night, the Nia Jax Alexa Bliss, so it might, they've got a lot to perform to. So I'm looking forward to that. There's, next I have the Fiddle 4-Way for the US Championship. So you've got Rusev, Bobby Roode, Mahal, and Randy Orton. I really don't want Randy Orton to win. Like He always wins, and I really don't want him to win. Mahal, I wouldn't mind. I actually wouldn't mind Mahal. I think he did alright as the US champ. At least it was a bit interesting. Rude, I don't think he'll win. I think he'll have a nice entrance. I don't think he's going to win. And Rusev, oh, the cheer if Rusev won. It would just be a If Lana and Rusev are, oh, it'd be great. Um, you've got that horrible feeling. Orton's going to win. I really don't want him to. Looking at the list of the people. Um... No, I'm going to go with Hart. I want Rusev to win. Rusev day all the way, baby. Let's go, Rusev. Rusev to win. Uh, Intercontinental title. Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and The Miz. I am going to go for... I think The Miz might have a rest after this. I think Balor. Balor needs a title. He needs something to run with. So I'm going to go Finn Balor. Uh, WWE title match. Shinsuke Nakamura versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. And there's my shirt I got on the Raw Tour um, last year. Um... Nakamura. I think AJ... Miz needs a rest because he just had a baby. I think he'll want to go away for a couple of weeks. Styles, I think, is a bit bad. I think He'll still tour. I think he'll still go around, but I think he needs a rest from being champion. He needs to be protected a bit. He needs... He, he deserves some time off. He's just too phenomenal. And the big match of the night, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Which, Brock Lesnar apparently is going back to UFC straight off this, so everyone's saying Reigns, so... I guess Reigns. I'd love for them to swerve and for it to be Lesnar. Because I think if Reigns wins, no one's going to care. They've got to really tell some amazing story if they want people to cheer for Reigns. He's going to have to do something amazing. Like, he's going to have to go, like, completely, like, oh, it's not even, like, a 
no DQ match, so he can't even go like hardcore, he's got to somehow just beat him in a straight, legit fight, which they kind of built up to at WrestleMania, I think it was, was it 30? No, 31, when Rollins cashed in, but without those kind of, I don't know, I really don't know about this one. I kind of don't want Reigns to win. I, 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 I'd quite then like to swerve to see Brock Lesnar, but I'm going to have to go Reigns because it's the obvious choice. So yeah, Roman Reigns to win. And so hope they really make a good story because I'm really not excited about saying that out loud. But yeah, those are my predictions for WrestleMania. What are your predictions? Tell me below. Let's put a sign on the line. How many matches are there overall? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13. Oh, and a possible John Cena Undertaker, haven't you mentioned? I don't think that's going to happen today. I don't think that's going to happen tonight, John Cena Undertaker. I think they might set up for something, but I don't think the match is happening at WrestleMania today. Tonight. I think it's going to build something in the future. Maybe for next year. Maybe there's going to be some altercation. I don't know, but I don't think it's happening tonight. Maybe it's going to be Undertaker comes out, just destroys John Cena, wipes off TV. Really don't know, but I'm going to put the bet on that it's not going to happen tonight. Not that I'm actually going to bet. So, 13 matches. Of the 13 matches that I know are happening, because I don't know about John Cena Undertaker, I'm going to say, if I don't get at least six of them right, so if I get six, I'm safe. No, seven. I'm going to be mean. Seven. If I don't get seven of them right, I will... I'll do a forfeit. What forfeit do I want to do? For every match I get wrong, I will eat a slice of lemon. I've just realised I could get 13 wrong and eat 13 lemons. Yeah, for every match I get wrong, I will eat a lemon slice, like a good chunk of lemon slice, like at least like a quarter of a lemon. I will eat one for every single one I get wrong. Why have I said that out loud? It's WrestleMania. Go big or go home. Yep. Slice of lemon for everyone to get wrong. Peace out. Make sure to enter my competition in the info, yeah, on my other video. Um, oh, I, oh, i got to go buy lemons. Oh, I could get 13 right. Anyway, here's the end plate with all my predictions. See y'all later. Peace.